Hi, Will. How's it going? Good, how are you? Yes, also very good. So, um, I mean, your interview preparation journey has now come to an end and uh, you have actually interviewed with two MBB firms, with Boston Consulting Group and with Bain Company. And uh, you have received offers from both firms. So, uh, first of all, of course, congratulations for this. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and now, um, how are you actually feeling about the outcome of your preparation efforts? Uh, I feel, feel great. I mean, it's hard not to. Um... But it's good to see hard work pay off, and uh, you know, obviously this is you know the desired outcome. So glad I was we were able to get here. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> so now, um, I mean, if you think back a little bit, right, to the time when you actually started preparing for these interviews, um, what were the main challenges that you encountered, and what did lead you to seek professional coaching? Yeah, so I think for me, um, you know, the main challenge I experienced at the beginning was that uh, casing is, is hard. Um, it's not mm -hmm. really something you're ever going to learn in school if you're an undergrad. And yeah. uh, at the end of the day, it's something that's pretty unique to the consulting process. Yeah. Um, okay. And just like looking online and, and looking at practice casebook, it, it's hard to know even where to start um, when actually solving it. Because it's one thing to just read through a case and see the answers there. But yeah. when it comes to thinking about it on your own, uh, you know, without having sort of any any background in case solving, uh, you know, there's just not a clear defined path. I think yeah. for me, seeking um, out professional help uh, really allowed me to be much more efficient with my time in terms mm -hmm. of having someone who has this experience help me along the way and, you know, not wasting my time on extraneous um, parts of learning that would generally not be beneficial in the end. I yep. think ultimately um, it was incredibly beneficial to my entire process. Great, great to hear. So let's maybe dive a little bit into it, right? Let's talk about how we prepare to get you offer ready, how we always call this, right? Um, so um, one thing um, that is very important, what we're always also emphasizing to people is that uh, contrary to, let's call it the mainstream case books, which are available on the market, um, which are usually centered around frameworks, uh, we have uh, established a pretty robust methodical grounding on which you could then build a much stronger and more rigorous case solving muscle. So, if you are reflecting back on this, what would you say? Um, how has this, you know, more mature approach to cases and problem solving uh, and these independence from frameworks helped you to be successful in your interviews with Bain and with BCG? Yeah, I mean, I think it's helped immensely because at the end of the day, when you're solving a case, the most important part of it is the, the framework because it sort of sets the tone for how the rest of the case is going to go. And yeah. in all my interviews, um, the interviewers just absolutely loved the framework. Uh, I was actually stopped in my final round of BCG. My interviewer told me, he said, yeah, that's an amazing framework uh, but, you know, before we move on. Uh, and I think, too, just uh, you know, knowing where to go next in the case is something that having this more developed framework was something mm -hmm. that really helped. There, I don't think there was ever a time where I was like, this is the first thing I want to look at. And they're like, no, that doesn't make any sense. I yeah. think being able to break it down by focus metric um, in the way that you know we employ implemented here um, yes. is just something that's incredibly beneficial and it doesn't um, lead you to wasting any time on looking at things that aren't really relevant to yeah. solving the problem. So. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, you're not uh, first spending your time uh, thinking about what I want to look at, but first <laughs> you, you're spending your time to think about, okay, what are the things uh, that I need to understand that would allow me to actually answer the question, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cool. So now, one of the points uh, which we're usually very adamant about uh, during the coaching is not only the precision in thinking, but also, of course, the precision in language, right? Because this is uh, uh, very important, of course, in a, in a client-serving uh, context, uh, as in consulting. And this is very often also a pretty revealing process for um, the candidates during the first uh, coaching sessions um, to get, you know, sometimes stopped by us every couple of sentences and to repeat these sentences in a more precise version and uh, me as a coach also sometimes just you know stopping them hitting the red buzzer just on a single word um, so how how have you um, how was this for you how do you see this element of the coaching in hindsight yeah well I think uh, it's incredibly important as well just because at the end of the day they are looking for someone who can communicate effectively I think 
that's something that comes across a lot in the behaviorals and how they want you to structure yeah. them. But I think it's also important just when you're casing, um, because at the end of the day, they are putting you in front of a you know, massive 500 clients across the world. And yeah. I want to make sure that you're someone who can communicate the ideas you go with effectively. So I think having that element of the coaching to ensure that uh, you know you're not make, making any small slip ups or, or rambling mm -hmm. on when it could be communicated much more concisely is yep. incredibly important. And I mean it's definitely tough at first, uh, like you said in the the first couple sessions where uh, my communication might not have been as effective as it could have been, and just having mm -hmm. to you know, keep doing redoing it. But I'm someone who learns really well from. Um, maybe doing something wrong the first time and learning how to improve upon it and implementing that in my work. So I thought it was yep. you know, really helpful uh, for the communication style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, um, uh, one of the things that we are always trying to make people understand is that when you are forcing yourself to be precise in your articulation, to be precise in what you really want to express, this is also helping you to force yourself to be precise in your thinking, right? It's very, very linked. And in our normal uh, interaction as human beings, usually we are very, very, you know, unsharp. And usually as human beings, we always expect the other person to more or less read our mind. And <laughs> this usually doesn't work in Consulting. This is why uh, at the beginning this can sometimes be a little bit painful, but it pays off. <laughs> so um, now, um, uh, as you probably know, right, in many markets, uh, recruiting season is just about to start, right? Um, now, um, based on your experience now and also based on your success, I mean, uh, you just uh, interviewed with these two firms and you were successful with both of them. So what would you uh, recommend to a candidate who is just starting his or her interview preparation now? Yeah, I think probably the most important thing for me was to uh, practice a lot and to practice earlier on in the process. Uh, I did a, you know, a lot of the peer practicing offers, wow. and I thought that one was really beneficial um, because both you get to you know, work on your own casing, but I thought casing others was also really beneficial because you see mm -hmm. um, from the interviewer perspective what is effective, what isn't effective. Yeah. And so I think that whole process is super effective uh, yeah. in talking about, but I also think doing it uh, on the earlier side of your recruiting journey was really helpful to me. Yep. So I got to a point where by the time my interviews were scheduled, I felt comfortable already. And I did do some practice cases with people at firms, but it wasn't like, a, oh, I need to improve upon these things. It was, you know, just sort of a, just a, uh, you know, a reaffirmation of the things I already knew. Yeah. So it wasn't like I was making drastic changes in yep. the week or two before my interview. It was, I was well practiced by that point already. Yeah, uh, I think ultimately um, that's the one piece of advice I would give. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I remember, right, uh, shortly before your interviews, uh, we were speaking, right, and uh, you said since you had these calls with the, with the actual consultants, uh, these calls went very well, and uh, you actually said, yeah, I have a good feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the interviews, and this is actually very important, that you are enjoying these conversations um, and that you're seeing them as discussions. Cool, yeah. amazing. Um, well, uh, thank you so much for sharing your perspective. Um, I think it's very valuable for folks out there to, to always see the perspectives of people who have been through the process already uh, already and have been uh, successful. So um, yeah, congratulations again and uh, very happy uh, for a new MBB career to start. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much again. This is uh, really awesome. So really appreciate everything, all your help. Sure. You're very welcome. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>